The Witcher Season 2 reveals Ciri's true power and potential, ending on an optimistic note, with Ciri gaining a new family in Geralt and Yennefer. While Season 2 is less complicated than the first, there are still some things that fans should keep an eye out for. The mythology is heavily increased, and Witcher mutagens are introduced as well as a brand new class of monster. Fans should listen closely to the dialogue as well, because some lines are so important, they may require you to rewind and listen again. We've always assumed she was from another sphere. Kar Morhen has a lengthy history, there was an attack. A long time ago, when I was a boy. Almost wiped us all out. So now we like to keep a low profile. As fans may know well by now, Geralt is not known for being particularly forthright. For this Witcher, less is always more. He takes Ciri to the Witcher stronghold, Kar Morhen, knowing that it will keep her safe. Upon their approach, Ciri notes its rundown appearance. He offers an explanation, but not a very in-depth one. The sacking of Kar Morhen is devastating for Witchers, and it's detailed in the anime film The Witcher, Nightmare of the Wolf. The Netflix film covers Bessemer's, voiced by Theo James, backstory. In his youth, he dreams of escaping his misfortune, and he goes on to become a Witcher and kill monsters for coin. In addition to this backstory, Nightmare of the Wolf details the specifics of the downfall of Kar Morhen. It includes themes that are familiar to The Witcher. Prejudice is rampant, with many people on the continent despising witchers for being mutants. A powerful mage named Tetra, Lara Pulver, blames witchers for the deaths of her family and comes up with a plot to destroy them. This plan includes destroying mutagens, which results in the loss of any means to create more witchers. This backstory gives more context to Vesemer's grief over losing Ciri's blood compound that would have made more of his kind. I'm Farina, a friend of Nivellen. Prejudice touches more than one life, your grandmother didn't want your mother marrying, an outsider. Part of Ciri's great loss is that she never knew her parents. As we see in season 1, the law of surprise, via Vulture, ensures that, even though Geralt initially balks at the idea, Ciri's destiny is forever tied to his, and he is responsible for her. Ciri's birth parents are removed from the picture the moment Geralt helps her father, Dooney, Bart Edwards, secure Dooney's union with Ciri's mother, Pavetta, Gaia Mondadori. However, Ciri was first raised by her grandmother, Queen Calanth, Jodhi May, who kept the details of her lineage and fate a secret from her. Geralt reveals to her that he was at her parents' wedding feast, causing Ciri to be intrigued because she has very little knowledge about how her parents came to be wed. Geralt never sugarcoats the truth, but he does leave specific details out. He tells Ciri that her grandmother didn't approve of the marriage, but is lighter on the details, like her mother falling in love with her father, while he was cursed to look like a hedgehog. Gerald does this as a kindness, not wanting to sully Ciri's perception of her grandmother. But he is careful for another key reason. He knows exactly what it means to be an outsider. Going through life, he experiences judgment from the world at large for being a witcher. He knows the pain that brings and what it is like to remain on the outside. Geralt experiences the pain of fatherhood, if it were your child, you'd be going crazy to figure it out. What you missed. What you could have done differently. Being a parent is a core theme of The Witcher Season 2. Until now, Geralt spent most of his life alone, only having to care for himself and his horse, Roach. Parenthood, albeit surrogate fatherhood, is new to him, and he doesn't always do the right thing. When Geralt and Ciri travel to Kar Morhen, Bessemer, Kim Bodnia, advises him on the truths of being a parent. Geralt often expects Ciri to do as she's told and quickly realizes that raising a child is not as easy as bending a child to one's will. He learns this especially after the death of his brother-in-arms, Eskel, Basil Edenbans. Eskel is infected by a lesion and turned into a monster. After Geralt is forced to kill him, Bessemer laments the loss. The witchers at Kar Morhen are like sons to him and his grief is powerful. At the time, Geralt feels like he can sympathize with Bessemer's emotions. He is a father of sorts now and would do anything for Ciri. A historian should know bloodlines better. Stregober was always the worst, I've always tried to protect our institutions. To protect you. Stregober, Lars Mikkelsen, is easily one of the most detestable antagonists in The Witcher. He operates with no morals, asking Istrid, Royce Pierison, to spy on Yennefer due to her elven blood in season 1. He makes no show of hiding his prejudices and outwardly hurts people for his own enjoyment. This includes his treatment of Yennefer in season 2. Because she is a quarter elf, Nilfgaard's alignment with the elves calls her loyalty into question. 
He uses the excuse that he is doing it for his people when he is really just prejudiced. The Wild Hunt is coming, where those the wraiths of Morhag. Many plot points have been teased and built up since the first episode of the Witcher series. However, an element that fans of the show may not be familiar with materializes in the final episode. After Ciri, Geralt, and Yennefer dispel Volith Meir in a parallel sphere, the newfound family sees something they did not expect. A heart of ghostly riders charges them before Ciri portals Geralt, Yennefer, and herself back to safety. But Ciri knows they aren't completely safe yet. Geralt confirms her suspicions, merely saying those riders are the Wild Hunt, also known as the Wraiths of Morhag. They have seen Ciri and, like many, felt her power. Though only mentioned briefly, the Wild Hunt will be integral to the Witcher world going forward. The Ghost Riders are set up in Andrzej Sapkowski's books and are heavily featured in the Witcher 3 video game, via PC Gamer. These riders are intent on capturing slaves and they mark Ciri as their next target. 